And like our last story, from twisters to heat waves and even a superstorm, extreme weather seemed to be the norm for much of the U.S. in 2012. Fox News meteorologist Janice Dean takes a look back at this year's wildest weather stories. 2012 had more than its fair share of wild weather. Whether it was destructive, deadly, or just plain hot, extreme weather affected Americans in every part of the country. After a mild winter for most, spring roared in with tornadoes. Twisters tore through several states, wiping out communities and killing several people. A devastating EF4 tornado with winds of up to 200 miles per hour hit the Midwest. Henryville and Maryville, Indiana, completely obliterated. Heartbreaking stories of families ripped apart, like this tragic case of toddler Angel Babcock. Her family was killed when the twister struck their mobile home. Angel was found in a field near her home, but died later from her injuries. The Big Easy was not spared this year. Hurricane Isaac making landfall near New Orleans on the eve of the seventh anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Isaac made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane. The slow-moving storm drenched low-lying coastal areas. Here's one of the hardest hit areas, Plaquemines Parish. It then moved slowly inland, inundating communities in Arkansas as it passed. 2012 also saw the birth of a superstorm, a devastating hurricane that collided with a powerful cold system from Canada that slammed the Northeast. Sandy made landfall in South Jersey in late October, flooding beach communities, submerging highways, and washing iconic boardwalks into the ocean. New York City's downtown skyline fell dark. In Breezy Point, Queens, homes went up in flames. Areas of Long Island, Staten Island filled with debris. Sandy claimed at least 100 lives and changed the landscape of the Jersey Shore. And just a week later, another blow, when the area was blanketed by snow, sleet, and rain from a nor'easter. According to FEMA, vicious heat waves, wildfires, hurricanes, and severe storms will cost this year alone more than $100 billion in repair costs. In New York, I'm meteorologist Janice Dean, Fox News.